Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Toy Jar Hoy stream. Uh, we are back today with another uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Death of the New Part 3. And we are here exactly where we left off last time after having plunged from the sky into this lake. And we are in Hyrule. Something just landed over there, so I'm going to try to make my way over to it and see what it is. Uh, good morning, Shadow. How are you this morning? Landed right next to that rock. Coffee and biscuits. Mm. Coffee and biscuits is good. I don't know what a star piece is, but I'm going to try to get over to it without being dead. I don't know if that fox thingy is going to attack me or not, so I'm going to avoid it. Kind of in the same direction as a little blip on my mini-map. Yeah. I played maybe about, like, what? An hour of the first game? Dazzle Fruit! A fruit charged with powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparkles that blind mo any monsters nearby. Well, I mean, I should probably take all of those. They're dazzly. Ooh. Star Fragment, a mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. It's probably true. It might. Yeah, we're going to uh, try to get chat overlay uh, integration going on so that the chat can be preserved in there as well and people will know who and what and where and why I'm talking to people because right now I'm probably just sound crazy. Ooh. It does kind of look like the ones from Animal Crossing or as I like to call it Cannibal Crossing. I mean, I know I'm crazy, but that's just normal for me. Uh, venture log. To the kingdom of Hyrule, at the Temple of Time, you saw a master. The master sword vanished into a mysterious light. Oh, it didn't vanish so much as we put it in an orb and Princess Zelda stole it. Uh, a white dragon then rose into the sky, parting the sea of clouds. You're sure you heard Princess Zelda say, Link, you must find me. I stole your master sword. Come get it. Ha ha. Head to the land below to look for clues to her whereabouts. There's no faster way to do that than to dive bravely from the sky, which we did do. All right. Well, we're in the right direction. Let's go get some. You know, you probably were looking to the right place. I was expecting to face plant at the bottom, too. Alright, there's a weird looking guy over there. Let's go s poke at him with our rock stone sword. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll use this. Ah, I'm on fire! Oh, dang, what are all these things? A, a coblin horn. There's something else that's shot off over here, too. Maybe not. 
a Hylian shroom, a common mushroom found near trees around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. And maybe see something you haven't seen before. Oh, holy hell, that guy is big. Kind of want to poke at him with my stick. But I think that might be a bad idea. We're going to avoid him for now. Coming back for you, buddy. We will come back for you. I promise. Uh, the big tower there? I see that big tower. I think that's kind of where I'm heading. The other tower, the big evil looking thing? A shrine to the right of it. Well, let's go over here and Okay. Uh, I don't. I'm probably too low to see it from where I'm at, but I'm sure we'll make our way over there. Look at these guys. Link! It's you! You're back! Where have you been? Last that anyone saw of you, either you or Princess Zelda was when you went to investigate the gloom. And then the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Purpur has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Purpur is working in that large building over there. Ah. Please report to her right away. She'll want to know you're alright. They have very, very poor British kind of sounding ass accents because you know I'm trying to voice people and I definitely will forget which voices they have so their voices will change she or is there somebody in here maybe I can talk to the old lady guy thing over here no this is Robbie Ah, oh, what a pleasant morning. Hey, hey, you. Where have you been? Robbie, head of the Purper Pad development. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Purple. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She is in the building with the telescope on the second floor. Go see her and give her up some peace of mind, will you? Yeah, where's my phone at? <laughs> voice is perfect. <laughs> Completely made up voice. <laughs> Alright, how do I get to the second floor in here? Maybe I can't. Maybe I have to climb up the side of the building. Hello? I have necrotic zombie arm. Oh, there's a... Uh, yeah. There's some stairs over here. They might work. Might even help. Who are you? What? That hair, those eyes, the the talk. Oh. 
Dr. Purper! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned! Oh my. Wow, she done been having now, some fun. Now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey. That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Her, her head of lookout landing. How long has it been since they disappeared? I don't know. I don't think anybody's covered that yet. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rolu. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yeah, Gotman Ruru. Huh? Then. What? Are you saying you came from up there? This Ruru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must have been related to the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you. And she gave you a clear message to find her. If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by the Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Because his name is Hawes. Yes. I know that Mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. Like your necrotic zombie arm of doom. I'm counting on you, Linky. It could be. It could be a trap. Alright, so character profiles. Purper. The highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. 
Yay, we completed that part. Alright. So, I guess we gotta go back. Well. No point in using stairs. Big evil glowy castle. We'll run towards it. Yeah, we don't need no stinking stairs. These are for CCs. Hey, look, a shrine. We'll come back for that. Right now, we're supposed to go talk to the guy up here. So, I mean, he's busy doing his own thing. Maybe we're okay to just go over here. Take, take just a little peek. Just a peeky. I mean, couldn't hurt to peek in the shrine just a little bit. It's here. Yeah, they unlock powers. Pebble powers. Plus, they, like it says, they unlock waypoints that I can auto-travel to. Combat training. Wah! You look very combative for a Roomba. Uh-oh. The shrine purifies the ancient evil who have entered here. Heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid my attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Okay, so target the enemy, strafe, jump. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Okay. Took me forever to get this in the first game. Yeah, I did. Nuts. Get in there. Smack, 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 smack. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back. Nobody. Well, I don't have a shield, so kind of fucked on that. I, I can't. I don't have a shield. You got a shield I can borrow, dude? Oh, look! A rusty shield and a rusty broadsword. So that'll help. Okay, which. Wait, 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 wait. Don't attack me! your power and release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Press and hold Y. Release. Yay! It died! The master of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Yay! 
Good thing they left me a, uh, a shield there. Uh, let me see. Since I can't take that. Uh, let's get rid of this damaged one. I'll take a construct bow. More zonai charges. Ooh, look. Chest of magical glowiness. A zonianite sword. Yay! All right. Well, it's a good thing they left one for me because I definitely didn't go in there with one. Visit us to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. So is it every four shrines I do, I get another heart capsule? I miss Goatman too. Goatman was awesome. We need Ruru back. Okay, so Shadow is saying that, uh, I think so, we just need to find the goddess to give them to. So, for those of you that can't see the chat log. Because I haven't gotten that far yet. Statue thingies. Thingies with statues. Yeah. Alright. I don't know who you are, but you look funny, so I'm not talking to you. Right? And I don't want to interrupt that process. I do not want to interrupt the pee pee process. She's doing her pee pee dance. She can do that and figure it out on her own. Alright. There's a giant gate in my way. Don't think this is going to work very well. Uh, let me in. Let me in, please. Uh, I gotta crawl over it, around it, up it, down it. Okay, well, that gate is absolutely useless. Yeah, see? You're standing there guarding the gate. Look at all the space around the gate. You're a doof. Yeah, laugh at him. Okay. Standing there staring at the gate like, Oh, I better protect this gate. Somebody might come in. Not thinking about all the space that somebody can just run around the gate. Yeah, look at you, dude. Do I need to go inside this? I don't know. I'll try. Hmm? Where do you think you're going? Link, no one can't be him. He'll stab me. I can't allow anyone past here. I'm Link. You're not permitted in there. <gasps> this area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. Dude, I am the Princess Zelda search party. Okay. This is... By direct order of Captain Hawes. 
If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. You should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. Ah, weenie. I am literally Link, the, like, protector of all time of Princess Zelda. There is no one else that is better suited to lead the search party for Princess Zelda than me. And he is making me go get permission from some weird guy that has probably I've never heard of before in any of the Zelda games I've ever played. What happened there? It just didn't want to let me do what I wanted to do. So now I'm breaking all your stuff. Ooh. Soldier spear. Well, I mean, I'm just going to have to rectify this problem. Drop that. And we're going to take that. And... Drop that, and we're going to take that. Hey, you guys didn't want to let me go where I wanted to go. This is all on you. Anything in here I can steal from you while I'm at it? Well, I'm going to steal anything that's not bolted down. Like, what is this? A torch. Eh, I need a torch. Uh, drop this stick and I'm going to steal your torch. Was there more in the other tent? <laughs> Nothing in that one. And I don't have anything I can really drop to steal the soup ladle. Just like I thought. The weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Ooh. Hey, it's a new face. Ooh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, spear, weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. Because it's an ancient mummy dude, alright? He's decayed, they're decayed, everything's decayed. It's a decay situation. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. Really? In like the what day that I've been gone? Okay. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none at this point. I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. They're also a real pain to repair. So the best thing to do is strengthen them. Alright, well, where is Dusenhorfer? Pretty sure they said he was in the gatehouse. This is the gatehouse. Oh, uh, maybe he's up here. Don't even tell me I have to build a platform to get up to him. Uh... What am I doing? Let's 
see. Okay, is he in here? No. Is he way up there? This seems needlessly complicated. I made it up here now. Oh, it's Haw's. Sorry, I'm in the middle of something. Haw? Link, is that you? You're alive and in one piece? It looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief! No, she's dead. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you? And you're here to help with the search? I see, or maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Hmm. I am relieved to see you coming up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh. Captain, it's Princess Zelda! <gasps> there she is. Mm -hmm. Quick, throw a sword at her. Princess Zelda, she's safe. Uh-oh. She's transcending. Yeah, I told you guys, throw a sword at her. Mm -hmm. Nobody listened. Wait, what? Hmm? You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? No, man. You haven't eaten too many of those Hylian shrooms. How strange this. This is an emergency situation. How is that an emergency, dude? Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Purper know about this as soon as possible. Considering that we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Purper about what happened here as soon as possible. Yes, I know it's Pura. Don't care? Still calling her Purper. Alright. I don't know who you are. You're kind of weird looking, dude. Alright. Did she move location? I don't know. I probably gotta run back down the thing. I could have made the wagon and rode down. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go back to the gate. Make sure that guy is guarding the gate. Alright, he has not abandoned the gate. Sir, continue guarding that gate. I will go around it. Don't worry, you got this. 
have the utmost confidence in you. Saying in most games, jumping makes you go faster. In this game, I have a little bitty, bitty stamina bar. Ooh, a shield. I need that. Traveler shield. Ooh, shield options. Well, I'm obviously going to continue using the rusty shield. Oh no, I don't have room for more swords. Well, we'll keep the swords we've got. So, all the weaponry is all rusty. Yeah, you hold that sign up, dude. suppose if I would have made the cart and rode it down, maybe I could have crashed it into the gate and freaked the guy out. It's like standing there watching the gate. That would have been funny. Alright, now we gotta go back to the Purper Palace. stuff to collect around here. Alright. Hmm. Link, well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've gotta say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Because you would never, ever tell a lie, Link. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach and use bottles. Because bottles are what we use to catch fairies. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still got the purper pad, right? Can I see it for a second? Mm -hmm. Of course, drink bottles. Of wine, get empty bottles, catch fairies. This, it's a little worse for wear, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Ah! <gasps> oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Josa, how do I pronounce that? I'm going to say Josa. All right. What's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Well, looks kind of anciently evil. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. 
If you want more info, talk to the soldiers watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, you should go to Mub Shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yes. All right, Josa. Let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel point. Josa, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. All right, so. Said there was clothing over here. Maybe they'll just give me some if I'm lucky. Probably not. Apples, arrows, look, regular pants. Okay, I need 70 rupees for that. I need 130 for the Hylian tunic. And I need 120 for the trousers. And I have zero. So you guys are a complete ripoff because you haven't even showed me how to get rupees yet. Alright, you, you're standing here and you said there was an emergency shelter somewhere here. Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. I have been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, at any at all, come right to me. I will answer as best I can. Ah. Now please allow me to open up the emergency shelter, for I am Scorpus. Hey, it's me, open up! Oh shit. That's some advanced technology there. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for our royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in the vault any equipment you want. Alright. Oh. Let me climb down? No, I'll just jump. Alright. No, I don't want to talk to people. I want to steal everything. That's dangerous. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we're gonna drop some. Maybe one of these will drop. I want this. It looks all pointy. You guys can keep that thing. Oh, here's a statue. Found the statue. <sighs> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing, I can offer you great power from the land of the future. But you do not yet have four lights of blessing. Seek out the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Return to me once you have claimed four lights of blessing. Alright, so we know where it is now. I don't want to sleep. Alright, how do I get back out of here? Here we go. No, no, why do I want to talk? I don't want to talk to you. 
Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is emergency shelter. Goodbye. Hi. Yeah, I hear you're... There we go. You're doing a fine job. You watch that ladder. Make sure nobody steals it. Alright. And Pure Pure was uh, over here. Yeah, don't look up my kill. If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link. You all set? I just wrapped up here myself. Travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Josa. Pull the switch! Hey! Why are the switches always comically oversized? Boosh! Bang! A comically oversized switch for your kiln. Sometimes we need comically oversized switches in our lives. Though, you know, having a switch the size of a small person. Oh. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Her chunk. A cur chunk switch. Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go hold the purper pad over the terminal. Okay. But if it explodes, it's not my fault. Oh, I activated a glowy blue disc. And now it's surrounded in glowy blue light. And it opened up on the top. Huh. Alright, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here anytime, instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your pure pure pad. <laughs> Impressive, right? <sighs> But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Purper Pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, huh? Hmm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. They all fell to their doom, so now I'm going to give one to you. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you, because you're resilient, and you can die and come back to life. Which brings us to this. Paraglider time! Woo! Yeah, the body pile in the back, you know, tells us her experiment levels. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime! Let's start with a test scan. Now it's time for our very first test launch, I mean. Our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, alright? Because I'm probably going to catapult you into the sky. I'll be observing from the research lab so I don't get any blood on my nice white coat. Yeah. 
when the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Oh my. This seems safe. It was a trap! What could go wrong? They just hooked me up to a cable. And now they're catapulting me out. Whoa! This definitely does not seem safe. No wonder there's a pile of bodies. Look at him scanning. He's not even thinking about how he's, you know, falling to his doom. Ooh, surface map updated. You know, pretty sure in the old day, Link's house wasn't too far from there. Sky map updated. We Do I know how to glide? Well, I assume it's going to teach me. Wah. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, oh, aim for the ground, aim for the ground, aim, man. I mean, I couldn't have done that better if I hadn't even tried. I'm on the ground. I'm not a big blood stain. I was very high up there. So I think I succeeded. No change to the death count yet. I have to rename the stream. Can't call it Death of Anuba if I'm not dying. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Yes. Right. Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. Okay. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Laniru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Hmm. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Hmm. That is pretty weird. Yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock into hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about goings on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. 
If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Ah. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Alright, new objective. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Crisis of Hyrule, regional phenomena. Alright. Rito Village. No idea where Rito Village is. Alright. Uh. So. I think we're gonna go to the Northwest first, because that's where she said to go, maybe? Chicken bird people. Well, she talked about the Northwest. So we're gonna go Northwest. <laughs> Chicken bird people. road go okay so if I follow the road it kind of goes in that direction so I'll we'll follow the road because it might be safer it's gonna be a long run I'm pretty sure of that Something glowing over there, too. You mean that glowy thing over there? Oh my god, what was that? Okay, well first I'm gonna kill these things. What are you? It fell from the sky. Fucking with you, you fell from the sky. Ooh, cool. A flock of evil birds. Die, 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 die. All right, I think he's dead. Uh, you Keep your arm. And I'll leave your dead corpse to this alone. What are you? Hyrule herb. This herb has not changed since ancient times. Cook it before eating to, to increase the number of hearts it restores. Okay. Wow, he screamed. Boko shield. There's a pebble over there. Alright, I don't need wooden sticks. Let's see if we can make it to that pebble. Kind of along the road. <laughs> I 
Are there two pebbles up there? Kind of looks like two glowy green spirals. Look at all the fire fruit he dropped for me. Something tells me he was planning to light something on fire. Namely me. Ooh, more Hyrule herb. It kind of looks like there's another one up over that way, too. to generally assume that there's probably some sort of way to get up here. There's something with a bunch of question marks on it over here. I don't know where it went. on the way to find the glowy pebble. Okay. Ooh, I really herb. Maybe I can sell all this crap. Uh... Do I dare try to scale that thing? it can hurt to try. Uh, maybe it'll hurt to try. Maybe there's a platform up somewhere else. No, let me up. it up here. No. Okay. Uh, let go. Down to the ledge. Stamina. Oh. 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 Yay, I think I made it. Ooh, shrine time. Shiny, shiny, shiny kins. Going in. A shrine on the way out of Hyrule. Massive pebble power. Uh oh. There's a fan. There. 
Oh, maybe. If I grab the fan. Put it somehow like that. Give her a smack, smack. Nope. They want to pick you up. Now I gotta turn you back off. I put you closer over here. I think. Jump. Activate my glider. Guessing it's gonna have something to do with the glider. See if I pick it up and put it back over here where it was. Turns on. Um, okay, jump, way action, pause, change equipment. Uh, any suggestions from chat? Not really. It kind of like pushes you off. to claim more. Fuse. I think I gotta be holding what I want it to fuse to. Okay, fan on a stick. Okay. <laughs> Not while well, it's on the stick, no. Oh, well, it gave me a new one, being that I messed this one up. Okay, let's... Back to 
for that. Okay, well now I have a power shield thing. Fan shield is badly damaged. Uh, I don't get it. far away for a second. Uh, I think the glider is away. Okay. Okay, so we're closer. Yeah, the problem is I need it right there to get the updraft started. Okay, maybe. Well, how do you... Can I jump up on this? No. Pick it up. Set it over here by the wall, right? Okay, should I have it pointed up? trying to go straight up it's not there there okay Fan shield broke. So, Coblin shield. And, get the feeling I'm gonna need an extra fan. But, 
I'll just stick that. Drop it there. I like try just doing it this way. <laughs> Doesn't get you quite high enough up. Uh. But. And that gets me up there. Yay! Two shrines down, 837,764,000 left to go. I wasn't sure how I would get the platform to go up to get the fan under it. Suppose I could have, like, put a fan pointing down and attached it and then hit it, and then it probably would have raised it and then grabbed the other one, put it under it, and pushing up. Hey, Wood, how's it going? So that makes two shrines now. <clears throat> so we will have to do two more and then I'll get another heart container. There, we are heading this way. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's another one up there. Can I place a pin in it? Whee. I may as well head towards that one, right? Uh, the cold clothes. No, I have not found any clothes for being cold yet. Oh god! Oh, holy hell! The tree! I'm not sure I'm prepared for this kind of violence. Oh, there's one up there too. I think that might be out of the way though. We're going to continue heading towards the one we marked over here. Uh, 
He looks sleepy. Maybe we can sneak around him. Very quiet. He's sleeping. A toasty shroom. I need all of the fruit that you left laying here for me. Because you're sleeping. Alright, now we got past him. Oh, don't worry, I'll be coming back to kill all of those big ogre guys later. What are you? Come back, bunny! This looks dangerous and stupid to go into. Shoot the blue bunnies with the bow. What are you? Oh my god! God! What? Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Okay. They seem mostly unfazed. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I'm hurting them. Fleshy bits inside. Yeah, I could. some apples ow I tried to shoot him stop stealing my stuff jackass
Come on. One down, one to go. Oh no, my Reaper. Ah, yeah. Eat fan on a stick. All right. Like-like stone? A strange round stone from a like-like made of crystallized inner fluids. It's good for ingredient of for elixirs. Okay. Oh, look. Got my stuff back that you stole from me. Like, no food, grab every ingredient you can. Never not be grabbing food, hunting animals, cooking heals your heart level. Alright, let's see what's in this chest. A soldier's shield! Yay! Alright. I have food. I just haven't cooked it. I can't eat an eyeball. I can eat one of those though. I don't know what that thing was, but okay. Spicy peppers. I know I'm always going to need more spicy peppers. Yeah, it looked like a lizard. Oh, what's this cool looking thing? A uh, weird dude with a donkey? Of a wagon. Uh, I found a stable and another shrine. <laughs> go, go, gadget shrinery. Pedal powers activate. Figure this one out. Okay. An uplifting device. So maybe that's my hint that I'm going to need to use my glider more. Oh, I wonder. I've got that torch. Or a candle that's knocked over. Oh. Okay. And they've left me another torch. So if I light those, they're going to float away. I think. Well, 
No, I think maybe they need to have the candle under them. Okay, so I can kind of stand under. Whoa, don't squish me. Okay. I use my grabby grabby thing. Yes, grabby grabby. Uh, I can attach it. this, attach that, put it here, and take the candle, attach that, grab the balloon. So I wouldn't have figured this out without Shadow here to tell me what the heck to do. And then float, 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 float. Ha ha! Yeah, there are a lot of ways to solve things. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> so. Hey, okay, I'm up here. I don't know that I need to be up here. I don't see a specific reason that I would need to be up here. Um, other than maybe getting that balloon back. I wonder, does, if I hit that with a balloon, oh, I think I can get it. I grab, patch, And it opens! Yay! Pop a ceiling button with a ceiling balloon. end room. 
<laughs> yeah, popcorn ceilings. Okay. I think maybe I'm safe to go down? Oh, well, there's a giant ladder in case I mess up. So... Like a ball there, maybe. <sighs> yes, those look like ball holes. <laughs> So, there's a ball here, piece of wood, and a balloon, and some torches. And, okay, so. Flame jet. Uh, where? I don't see a flame jet. Oh. So do I not need the smaller one then? Could be, but I would have no idea how to get it from there to there. I can probably get this smaller one over. Okay, so there's one of two. That opened up that side. So the bigger one needs to go in there. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's just the end. So there's got to be something else in the other side. Platform has floated away from me. Okay. Uh, 
think I gotta climb back up this very long ladder. Get back up to the top so I can get that and break it back apart. Goodbye. <laughs> we okay. So for this, have an idea. Probably the wrong idea, but it is an idea. Grab the bigger ball. Room for me on the platform. <laughs> uh, we've got three balloons. Hopefully that's enough. Move the whole platform over. Kind of neutrally buoyant, I think. Go, 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 go. It might be, in which case, you know, I've completely lost the concept for this room. Uh, you know, if it is trying to teach me that flame jets give more lift. Opal, a valuable ore that gives off mesmerizing irritants. Uh, similar to the inside of a seashell, it contains the power of water. Cool.
And this is my third light ball thingy. I mean, I'm trying not to over-engineer things. But I realize that I'm probably over-engineering things. Yay, glowing necrotic arm of doom. Another light of blessing. Pretty soon I'll have five hearts. And then I'll be able to fall further before I die. the pen now, right? How do I clear the pen? I don't know. But we're heading this way and I'm thinking maybe try to get up to that tower over there and do my sur uh, either do my survey or just end at the tower and do my survey at the beginning of my next stream. that you can actually like climb stuff in the game as an option rather than trying to uh, run around to try to find other routes I'm trying to make it up to that pillar up there. That's probably a good place to end the stream for the day. Uh, I don't know what you are, dude. Okay, gonna take a chance on this. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. Alright, well he's not attacking me. Those trees over there! So scary! Shalaka! They are scary trees. Guessing they're treants? Yep. Ow! You are an asshole tree. Uh, let's see, there's got to be other crap that I have that I can eat. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. I want to imbue you with fire, because fire and trees go so well together.
Yeah. Trees from Breath of the Wild. Didn't like how much you cut them down, so now they're out for revenge. Uh, that tree is dying hard. Ha ha, stupid tree. Oh, blue bunny. Uh, those things are gone. Yay, I killed the trees. He's happy. You see me? You see me? My name is Hetsu. I'm the musician of Korok Forest up northeast. I'm known for my maracas and my dancing. Thanks for your help. Cha sha ka. To show my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Shoko. The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I had even one korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. I think I got one, didn't I? Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. But the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think the children of the forest took the seeds while I was in a panic. Sniff. Hang on. Sniff, sniff. Do you have a korok seed? You do. You got a korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Do it now. Uh, I need a bigger weapon stash. There you go. <laughs> Let the expansion begin. I'm not sure what just happened there, but that was kind of creepy. And now I can carry an extra weapon. Backup dancers. Expand a ban ban weapon stash shakalaka. So, so are you happy with it? Yes. If you bring me more korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory again. Alright, well that is good to know. The go-go dance of joy. In the middle of traveling, I'm thinking about heading east next. There's so many monsters these days that traveling is dangerous. What I'd like to find somewhere I can relax. I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere with lots of people. Hang out. I'll be here a little while longer, so if you find any Korok seeds, bring them on by. I'll make it so your pouch can hold more stuff. All right, so now I have one more slot. Ooh, bun bun. Uh, bow? No. Bow? No. Bow? No, don't scare the bunny! Damn it, I think I scared it away. Whistled and scared the bunny into a cave. Another discovery Lindor's Brow Cave. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you said I can mark this for later. So. I'm going to place a pin in it. <laughs> Almost up here to this thingy. <laughs> Whoa, ow! What the? Dude, that was not cool. Is it 
attacked by a fucking horse. Jesus. Climb on the horse that just attacked. No, thank you. I will chop it up and make horse jerky out of it. Uh, yeah. This thing looks easy to get up to. I'm sure. Uh, what are you? No, no, go away. Go away. Don't follow me, go away. Yeah, leave me alone. Alright. On that note, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. So... Thank you, everyone, for joining in. And we will see you next time for our next Tears of the Kingdom adventure. I do believe that it's water. But we will find out in the next episode. So thank you, and have a great day, everyone.